they like to do is so notice that they're not telling us the binding energy of this. They're not telling us the mass, which we're used to. They're telling us binding energy per nucleon, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to find the difference in the binding energy from this side to this side, and that difference will be the, um, the energy released, right? If this side is more tightly bound, that is, if it has a higher binding energy, that means we actually released energy to get it. Because remember, binding energy is not energy you have. It's energy you would need to take, take the thing all apart, right? Okay, so, so if you go to a lower binding energy, you're actually releasing energy, okay? So the binding energy per nucleon in deuterium is 1.11. So the total energy, binding energy here would be 2 times 1.11, right? And then uh, binding energy per nucleon of tritium is 2.66. And there's three nucleons there, right? Here there's two here. These are the nucleons, right? Okay, so the total binding energy of the left side is, right? And then... Um, if we look at helium, the binding energy of that is 7.20, right? And there's four of those. So compare that to four times 7.20, right? Okay, so it's going to be this side minus this side, right? Okay, and that'll give you a difference. Now, originally I was sort of looking at this and I'm like, well, what about the binding energy of the new neutron, right? And I was like, hmm. But of course, it's not bound to anything, so... It makes sense. I mean, there's no, we can't separate it. It's already separated. So it has no binding energy per nucleon, which is kind of weird because I'm used to doing this sort of stuff, right? But anyway, try that um, and you'll get the energy that's released. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. I think maybe this side, I think you'll get like a, it'll go down or something like that. Or No, no, so this is initial minus final. Yeah, that'll work. All right. 